Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of our tutorial series on web application with Oracle Apex. In the previous episode, we have successfully created list of values and added a drop down functionality to add category in our product module. And in this episode, we will display both category as well as product detail using master detail page in a single page. So without further ado, let's move to our tutorial. So log into your Oracle Apex dashboard and here let's go to our app builder. Hey guys can you hear it's raining outside. Okay here we have our store which is online store so I'll select my store or my application and here now you are already familiar so I'll click on create page to create a new page and this time I'm using master detail page and then let's uh, use stacked this one you can use either of these uh, this will have a side by side or top and bottom this will have top and bottom as well this will have left and right i think i guess uh, you can uh, explore with uh, explore any of this but i'm going with this one and click on next you can either click on that or click on next it was the same thing and here products uh, sorry report what should we call let's call master report and it cannot be big report normal and let's give uh, breadcrumbs uh, breadcrumb master report click on next and here let's also create a new navigation it will be master report and click on next Let's give the region title as uh, master report. And then uh, table or view. First one will be category. So I'll just get table category. And then let's select next. And here let's select TBL product. Do you have TBL product or not? I have TBL product. Uh, master detail for and key will be a primary key will be product ID and uh, master detail for and key will be category ID. So that's it. We have primary key as product ID. Master detail for and key will be category ID. Let's click on create. where is it it's waiting for apex oracle.com you can see i don't know where it went so you can see on the left corner waiting for apex oracle.com click once again i don't know why it is taking so long i think the television title must have some value okay title must have detail region uh, master detail, let's see. Master detail. Okay, we have created it successfully. Master detail page created. And let's go to application. And let's run it. Run the application. Uh, we will see master report. Open navigation. Master report and here we have we have category and we have product so let's select food and we have beast burger like this you can use master report uh, to display the reports based on this foreign key table which is table category so this displays uh, products based on category so we don't have any product on electronics and drinks but we have on food so we have burger as a food let's add a new product in electronics i will add new product for electronics so let's create a select category as electronics and its name will be let's give samsung tv i don't know its model let's give best full sd tv in town let's give its rate at uh, 50 I don't know the price exact price but now let's give its 
quantity as 6 and my MFG date as let's give it as uh, October 1st and expiry date as uh, 30th of April 2020 and let's create it and product is added successfully and its category is electronics so let's go master report and we do not have anything in drinks in electronics we have samsung tv and food we have burger so that's it guys we have successfully created master report to display uh, products uh, as well as categories without writing single line of code so this is it in the next episode uh, i will uh, show you how to use trigger uh, to add validation in our oracle web application so thanks so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible so i'll see you on next episode till then see you soon bye bye